We did not sign up for this. I knew she had to have an autopsy, but this is like remove her, remove her, remove this. Rem she was 10 years old. Rebecca Villarreal has questions. Preserve each lung. <laughs> it's about what happened to her adopted granddaughter after she died. Four days after Elena Castilla died, this memo was sent to the doctor who would perform her autopsy, giving instructions to harvest Elena's organs. Who are these monsters? These are monsters. Who are these people? I didn't sign no papers. I didn't sign for them to disassemble. In the letter signed by Chief Medical Examiner Dr. Sam Andrews, it instructs the doctor to preserve the brain, remove the cervical spine, eyes, and lungs, among other things. Who is this? Because this is not all of my baby. Because what I'm reading here, this is all my child right here. Remove flesh, hang, preserve the heart. I don't even have a heart. We tried to see copies of these autopsies from the ME's office, but no one returned our call. Elena suffered most of her life from the effects of shaken baby syndrome. Rebecca adopted Elena when she was just one years old. She was a fighter. She got that from grandma. Rebecca Person said she was told because of the shaken baby syndrome, an autopsy needed to be done, but she never agreed to organs being harvested. They literally disassembled my child. She wasn't a, a manufactured home. She wasn't a toy. She wasn't a doll. She was a person. It's unknown why Dr. Andrews and the pathology labs requested the organs to be taken out.